Well, oh well. Um, this is day one of this process to prep for my big technical interview. So, um, I'm, I'm on hacker rank. So here we have an easy one called two strings. Let's check it out. I'm also going to put a timer on. Um, let's do 15 minutes. Given two strings, determine if they share a common substring. A substring may be as small as one character. For example, A and an art share a common substring. A, the words B and cat do not share a substring. Complete a function, two strings in the editor below. It should return a yes or no, but based on whether the strings share a common substring. So two substrings, yada, 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 okay. Okay, so I see like, so like hello and world share the word, the letter O. I guess so. That's fine. Or actually, actually, I should say L too. Hmm. So, so a substring could be as small as one character. So, you don't even need to check anything other than characters of one length, really. Because if they share two characters, then they share one character. So all you're asking is, does a single character in one um, belong, um, is seen in the other? Right. That's really all you're doing. So for that. I think I would just take a maybe it's simpler than I think it is but I think I'm, I'm just going to take uh, the first string put it into a set which will um, reduce everything into single um, counts of well, not counts but it'll count <laughs> each letter uniquely and then you can just check on that and that's basically it so uh, call it history new this is, this is JavaScript, by the way, so um, I am maybe not able to do this with other languages, but this is how I would do it. If I was doing another language, then I would just iterate through the first the first string and then maybe sort it in a dictionary, but don't feel I need to do that. I think, oh, well, <laughs> the whole point of this is to test dictionaries and hash maps, right? So sets are kind of like hash maps a little bit. They just don't have a value that's associated with the key. But I mean, I get the idea. It's very similar. Um, okay, so and then I would just loop through um, this s s two. And the second, I say if history has letter, then I can re safely return. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Do I need to return yes or console log? Sometimes this is just a console log. Uh, it should return a string yes or no. Okay. Yes. Okay. And if you get through that and it doesn't find it, then the answer is no. And I think that is all I'm going to do. Return code. Now I think I uh, my process for this wasn't very good. I could have definitely broken it down, but I felt it was easy enough that I could just tackle this. Let me see how much time that took. Do do do. I have 11 minutes and 45 seconds. So not bad. It was an easy one, so it makes sense. Uh, I'll be back uh, for a medium in a little bit. See ya.